okay? Can everybody hear me okay? All right. So we're doing yes. Paris. Now, again, up here, make sure your name is up here, okay? Uh, make sure your name is up here because you want to get credit for it. So, yes, you sign into TBO Academy, but then you also have to sign in to the program, okay? And it's now going to take me back out of there. I'm just going to type in Paris here, and then it should take us right in there. And again, you want to make sure that you are in um, the program. So we're going to do Paris, France, and then we're going to do Paris Expert, okay? So now you see my name is up there. Um, the reason I say that is because we want to make sure that you have it um, because when you save the slides and stuff and you want your name to show up on the um, certificate and stuff, okay? So um, also when you're doing um, the Royal Caribbean Cruise, I missed the last two. Yes, they're all recorded. Um, if you look here on my YouTube, I just posted the last one, Royal Caribbean Part 7, uh, Royal Caribbean Part 6. They're all in here on my YouTube, okay? All right. Uh, so again, um, stay plugged in. Let's uh, help each other. So uh, about this course, uh, Walk from Paris will provide lessons in history, beauty, and the point of life. Uh, these words of Jeff Thomas Jefferson indeed capture the spirit of Paris that a traveler is most likely to catch during a definite stay in the stimulating spaces. Standing with a history that has influenced global imagina Im imaginations, blah, hosting maraud forms of art that redefine the boundaries of aesthetics are a few characteristics of its geographically skim and culturally dense city. All right. So um, again, go in and sign in, and then you'll have to sign in again. Um, if you guys have problems, please be sure to, and we're just getting started, so you're not behind yet. Um, and when you have a question, put it into everyone. Make sure you put the chat to everyone. If you don't, then what's going to happen is um, I may not get to it. So we want to make sure, again, we have amazing agents on here to help us all, okay? So here's some frequently asked questions. And I, again, I'm going to Paris in two weeks. So I kind of threw this in here because I want to learn what to see, what not to see, what to, you know, what to expect. So the weather is quite pleasant during spring and summer. However, the weather can change rather quickly and start raining. Advisable carry umbrella, wear multiple layers of clothes during the fall and winter months. Temperature drops quite considerably and gets very windy. You should carry gloves, mittens, and earmuffs. Wow. Uh, how can you do a one skip que long queues at museums for Musi or De Orsay or uh, Le, 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 the Lou, right? One can make advanced reservations, skip the long main queue. However, there is a minimum wait time for security checks. Okay. Um, again, I know this, this course is, um, this program is a little finicky, guys. So I always say sign up. Um, maybe sign in with your Gmail, you have to refresh, maybe try a different browser, okay? So again, if somebody can help the people trying to get signed in, don't don't get out, just, you know, keep trying because all you have to do is listen. We'll wait for you for the test. Is it advisable to buy a museum pass? If you are serious art lover, plan to visit at least two museums, it would be advisable to buy the museum pass. Otherwise, it would not be economical viable. What's the best way to experience the city of Paris? The best way is by walking, even though it is the second largest city in Europe. So again, I've been told um, to make sure that we have, um, here it is, there's the link or whatever, um, good walking shoes. Where yes, is the good walking shoes, but remember that Paris has an amazing uh, metro system. They've got the subways, the buses, and cabs as well yeah. that make it much easier to get anywhere. Yeah, that's what we uh, found out, like the Oyster card and the rail card and stuff. So yeah, that's why some of the hotels, I, I used my Marriott perks and made sure one of them was like right by the train station and stuff. Awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to learn about that. So um, where is the Riv Gauche? I hope that's right. Again, I'm sorry for mispronunciation. It's located on the south side of the River Sign. Okay. So again, 20 to 30 minutes. We're going to start the course. So let's click there. And again, don't worry if you're just signing up. We will wait for you for the test. We don't want to lose anyone. Um, but you want to complete these. If you don't complete these, 
um, you don't get the perks and stuff. A lot of times we'll get like, um, like somebody said worth Royal yesterday, if you finish certain things, they got a t-shirt in the mail, you know? Um, so you never know. You get fam trips, you get invites, lunch and learns. Uh, right here, remember I told you, make sure your name is up here. Add all slides. Now you can go up here to your itineraries and now you have all these slides. So you don't have to take like screen prints, okay? So just wanted to share that with you. All right, so um, places to see am I, okay. So again, I think I already did this one. So let me try to log out and sign into one of my other ones. Otherwise I may have to um, have somebody else, hold on. This is what drives me crazy because I, um, I've done some of these trainings before and now we're trying to do different ones. Um, so let me see. Da, da, da. Username. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys, hold on. Email, sign in. Let me just try Bengali at email.com. Uh, let me go ahead and close it out and see. Hold on. Do you see? So it's not just you guys. Like I said, it's a very finicky account. <laughs> so hold on. All right. So I'm going to sign in. Sign in with Gmail. Hey, okay. you sign up. Oh, otherwise, we would maybe get somebody else to share the uh, the thing. Country, USA, agency, after travel, recommended by another agent. Again, very easy. It's probably going to pop up and say, sorry, you're already registered. Good morning, Marnie. Good Are morning. we doing the Paris or the Paris expert? We're doing Paris right now, and then we're gonna move over to Paris Expert. Okay, then let me get out. Okay, so again, I don't know why it's not Joda, but I'm just gonna go ahead. I don't need his certificate, but uh, I'll just see if it'll let me go in without it. Okay, all right, so we're gonna start this course. Da, da, da. Yeah, once you uh, register, all you do is go up here to like the home or the search and you can type in Paris and it'll take you into this training. Okay, there we go. All right, so the Eiffel Tower, can you imagine Paris without the Eiffel Tower? Which is why topping the list is iconic. Wonder of the world. What Burj Khalifa is, a, uh, is to Dubai, Eiffel Tower is to Paris, named after its en um, engineer, Gustav Eiffel. This lattice um, tower is made of wrought iron, welcomes millions of visitors each year. By the end of your vacation in Paris, if you feel overwhelmed to dine with its soothing evening weather and romantic dim, lit, dim light view, then climb right to the first or second floor of the monument to book yourself a precious seat in any of the restaurants that populate it. To get the most out of this dinner with the city of love, share your table with an unwilling, with another willing, any willing guest, and let the conversation unfurl a new chapter in your travel diaries. After a sumptuous meal, climb to the top of the tower for a breathtaking view of the city. Shout out to all the unreachable faces, delve within your remin reminiscence of the place. Once you reach the top, you can only find peace and relaxation. Step outside from your enamored, enamored thoughts about the tower to pre-book the tickets in advance because long queues are a common sight at the feet of this man-made wonder. All right, the Louvre. Uh, Paris is a multifaceted uh, experience if only you wish to explore its different colors. After days of walking through shopping hubs, 
a wide lanes on tasting the delicious marbles made by some of the most creative hands of chefs in various restaurants. If you retain a love for the city's history or even feel inquisitive to know the source of all energy and vigorous culture of Paris, turn your steps towards the enthralling Louvre Museum. Housing more than 30,000 works of art, the Louvre, um, and again, if that's a mispronunciation, please let me know. Um, but it says the Louvre Museum, um, but above, where am I, is home to the iconic Mona Lisa, termed as the Marvel of Museums, a name justifiable deserved. Entering the Louvre is as much of a walk into the history of France as it is into the history of other civilizations. At once, you can get lost in the passages of the museum amongst the artifacts from Egypt and at any at another about 80 days, if you take the word of Jules Verne. Verne? Verne? It is impossible for anyone to tour the entire museum in one day. So it's advisable to focus on a particular gallery that appeals the most to you. Begin your knowledge seeking expeditions from right there. But don't walk away too far, especially in the museum basement that has, it houses relics of the days of France's great kings. So it sounds like an amazing adventure. Um, Louvre, Louvre. Okay, thank you, <laughs> Louvre. Thank you. All right. How about Notre Dame, the Paris? Ever wonder about the religious center of Paris that empowers the faith to its people? Tread no further. Visit and again, if you guys have visited these, put in the chat box. Oh my God! Make sure you see this. Do that. Don't do this. You know, or whatever. Let us know because that's what also is fun about doing these things together, guys, because we share experiences, right? All right. Um, so the feeling vibes of religion, um, it says Notre Dame of Art, Lady of Paris Cathedral, feeling the vibes of religion. Um, okay, uh, um, um, my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. With Gothic art of French medieval ages, standing in the heart of Paris, Notre Dame um, Cathedral proudly showcases its archaic architecture, Known around the world for its enticing history, there is no place in entire Paris whose element speaks their historical tales like those of this holy center. From the decorative doorway to the impressive stained glass windows, everything about Notre Dame is breathtaking. Even if you are not an ardent admirer of the sculptural art, conscientiously observe the different parts of Notre Dame in is breathtaking. Even if you are not an ardent admirer of this sculpture, sorry, consciously observe the different parts. My doing okay, beautiful carving, innovative infrastructure, design, and awe inspiring looks. But in case you are an architect on vacation, rest assured you have hit the jackpot. Feel free to visit the cathedral for chewing new thoughts in your brain, exercising your knowledge cells on the wonder of the distinctions between the four sides of Notre Dame. All right. Disneyland Paris. Okay. Yes, I am going here. I made sure my daughter knows that I have to go here. Whether we just go and want ride one or two rides, I need to go. <laughs> so when traveling with kids, Disneyland Paris should never be missed. Add an American fans and fantastic state to your Paris trip. Spending a day in one of the most visited theme parks in the whole of Europe. Disneyland, a branch of the original Disneyland in the United States. It is truly delight for young ones and adults alike. This place should not be missed. If someone is looking to relive their childhood memories or meet the heart-throbbing prince and princesses of the Disney animated universe, located at any easy driving distance of 20 miles from central Paris, drive into its colorful world for fun-filled activities, thrilling amusement rides, mind-refreshing shows, and Disney theme parades, which would take you on the life-size adventures of your favorite animated characters. If you are tired from your hectic travel schedule, pull up your visit to Disneyland Paris from the last to the top of the must-visit list. Dare to keep yourself from gasping at the recreated castle of Sleeping Beauty, only to be bemused by the spell of the evil fairy. woo -hoo -hoo. Okay. Uh, Arc de Triomphe. Again, I Sorry if I mispronounce that. French version of the India Gate at the Gateway of India. Arc de Tri Triomphe, Triomphe um, is indeed the star site of a Paris holiday. Situate, situated in the western end of Champs Elysees, Arc de Triomphe de l'Etoile is adorned with in, intric, 
intricately carved sculpture. Don't confuse it with its smaller version, the Arc de Triomphe du Carousel, which is placed near the western end of the Louvre. That's right. Okay. This attraction bears names of the battles fought during the First French Republic and Napoleon's Empire, along with the names of all French generals who serve in them on its inner and outer services, surfaces. And that's not all. At the center of the historical thread of the city, the Arc celebrates four sculptural groups, La Départ de 1792, La Triomphe de 1810, La Résistance de 1814, and La Peau de 1815. And the six reliefs which den den denote four benchmark events in French history. Hire a local guide from the Arc facilities Arc the Triumph. Okay, I'm going to let you re say them from now on, Elisha, because <laughs> I can't say them. Witness how the monument speaks in the voices of over millions of friends through the architecture. So again, thank you so much. How the Statue of Liberty Paris. Okay, I can say that. If you're under the impression, impression that the Statue of Liberty prestigiously presides on the banks of the United States, then be prepared to challenge that fact. While you visit the soon to be globally famous, the French version of State uh, Statue of Liberty at the artificial island of um, La oh, again, go ahead and pronounce it, gifted to France by the American community as a marker of the anniversary of French Revolution. This quarter length replica of the original French gifted Statue of Liberty in New York is a relatively lesser famous tourist attraction of Paris. Nonetheless, visit this marker for enjoying a heart-taking ride atop the Pont de Grenal or Pont de Berhankin. Um, if not, stir your Republican spirit. Don't forget, this priceless landmark takes no cost for a mission and features as a remarkable location in National Treasure Book of Secrets. So um, bide your vacation time for this architectural beauty. All right, bird's eye view of the city. City limits or La Belle Lumière Paris, uh, Paris cannot be fully understood until it is observed in its entirety. Known for its beauty and architecture, many Paris attractions offer um, a bird's eye view of the city. Hold on one sec. Did I, I am, I am recording this, right? Did I quit recording? Sorry, hold on. Yes, yes you the are. red light's on. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like, like I've been at home training since 6 a.m. I'm like, wow, okay. Okay, thank you. Um, the choice is you're standing on either of these great man-made constructions. You can see the minute tops of other Paris attractions, each of which marks a particular period in the history of the city. But don't think your money and time is only worth that much. Looking at the cityscape with binoculars is an excellent way to appreciate its overall city design, something that is not possible while walking through its um, enmeshed streets. All right, the catacombs. We booked this for Friday the 13th, me and my daughter. Experience the dark side of the love capital by visiting the Paris catacombs, home of the remains of more than 6 million French this dark ossuary uh, can fright and delight you at the same time. Take up a it's night same. tour. Huh? Take up the night tour at the same time. Okay, take up the night tour in the halls of this comm commemorative structure for feeling the dread of the burden of civilization and development. Constructed on the roots, roots of quarries of Paris, the catacombs may as well send chills down your spine with the echoing whispers. But if you are afraid of entering alone, wait for the latest concerts in its premises. Can you imagine concerts there? Woo! Dance to the beats of the eeriest places in entire France. Just be sure purchasing tickets while in advance to cut the queue. All right, a river cruise. Carry your seasickness curing curing tablets and plenty of clothes before you leave because it can never uh, can be better than sipping sparkling wine and witnessing the beauty of Paris on a cruise. The tables on the deck accompanied by a band carve the perfect setting to enjoy luxury at its best. 
Whether you want to opt for a day cruise, bathing in the sunset colors or glittering amongst the lights at a nighttime cruise, the choice is yours. But the river boating trip is sure to be notable experience regardless of the time you plan to undertake it. And then you don't need to plan, this is plan a picnic. You don't need to plan a tightly packed trip if you wish to have a taste of history. Culture and fashion of Paris, mere sitting at the sum of the public spots is enough to give you a glimpse of exquisite nature. To soak up in the vibe of the city, plan a picnic to any of its popular spots, including the Canal St. Martin, Champ de Mars, erstwhile called the Eiffel Tower, Esplanade des Invalides, and Parks de Boots Charmant, and De La Villette. When, when on vacation in, um, to Europe, keep a day free to plan a picnic to any of these spots. Carry your favorite French street food and drinks along with a pair of sheets to, um, to while away your day looking at the marvels of French civilization and biting on foodies delicacies. Now there couldn't be a more relaxing way of enjoying Paris. Evening activities around the river sign. Okay, commercial waterway of Paris, sign river boat hosts a desirable trip or number of activities. If the tinkling breezes of the river coming atop its bridges like Pont Alexandre III and Pont Neuf in Paris seems to have stopped interesting you, take a motorboat expedition of the cuts and corners of the river. Appreciate the Notre Dame like never before. Or simply see the city of Paris as it looks from the offshores. If time runs in your favor, hitch a ride on the cheap excursion boats to drive on the rippling waters of Paris. Only um, own River Dwight and River Gosh. 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 Sleep over at the Shakespeare Book and Company. That sounds kind of fun, huh? Um, can be a bit. Um, can there be a midnight in Paris without Shakespeare Book Company? Definitely not. And likewise, any trip to Paris is incomplete without a peaceful stay at one of the most simply sophisticated places of all that is. Shakespeare Book and Company, run to this place for the collecting premature art autographs from writers who have yet to shoot to fame or simply soothe your literary instincts by spending a good time between oldest copies of bestseller books. Don't shy away from cuddling into the rented beds available at the shop to spend a starry night among the, amongst the best literary geniuses of your time. Sounds kind of interesting and fun, right? That's something to maybe put in your, when you advertise your certificate today. Okay, the weather, seated at the western front of Europe, France, and by extension, Paris experienced a warm and wet climate throughout the year. Such welcoming weather makes it a hot choice for tourists all over the year. Um, yet June to August and September to October is the best time to visit Paris. Summer, spring months from April to June are also the perfect time for planning a vacation to Paris, especially when you intend to spend most of your vacation time on the road or payments um, of the city. For someone on a budget, traveling during the off-park peak season is highly recommended as the hotel rates and attraction tickets are available at slashed prices. However, no matter when you visit, you are bound to experience some crowd. Culture. So the popular name of Paris of the city of art finds its reason in the vibrant culture of the country, which is hosted in its cultural products. The French are very proud when it comes to their cultural food, music, and history. Known throughout the world for its enchanting history and cultural arts, Paris is an excellent am uh, amalgamation of the old and new world. People from all over the world visit Paris to witness the outgoing and ever young culture of this city, melting into architecture and diverse nightclubs. On your first visit to this fascinating city, avoid slipping into dominant art forms and do not miss the propping new form of arts like photography, theater, and culinary servings. French population is a um, heterogeneous mix of different ethnicity, ethnicity, ethni oh my gosh, I'm sorry, throughout the major majority of people identify themselves as Roman Catholics. You can also find Catholic, Muslims, Protestants, Jewish individuals during your stay, and if your luck hasn't run out, you may be able to attend some of the ritualist festivities as well. The more that is said about French cuisine, 
the lesser it seems. However, three ingredients that sum up a typical French dish are delicious wine, crispy bread, smoky vegetables, or meat. Take your time, pick your meal from the numerous seasonal delicacies and regional dishes that Paris restaurants offer for your tongues. All right, we're ready for our first quiz, guys. So French is the language, uh, being the capital of France, the official language of Paris, by law, is stipulated as French. However, English is widely understood and spoken around the city for a number of European English-speaking tourists populate the city throughout the year. Yet, in case you are fluent in Arabic, Portuguese, Spanish, or Italian, do not worry, for you will easily find a companion in the multilingual crowd of the capital. And also, there are a lot of um, expatriates who speak Chinese, German, Celtic languages, in addition to others. Okay, so again, um, ready for our test. Is everybody good? Um, let me know. Again, um, a lot of times we will go ahead and um, put postings um, or put the answers in. So don't worry about that. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and, oops. Okay. Let me see if it'll let me take the test. Come on. Maybe no. Um, I'm going to sign up with a Gmail. Like I said, it's very finicky. All right, I may need to um, let somebody else share the screen for the test part because it looks like it's not letting me in um, since I already did the test. Oh. So let's let's try one more time. <clears throat> If not, do we have any volunteers for testing? I can share my screen. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Again, as you see, it's not even giving me an option to put in another email here. Um, you know what? Let me try one other thing really quick. And then uh, and then if not, we'll go ahead and uh here. Here and over here. Here and paste. Okay. And then okay, it's what I had right, so okay. Here, Paris. You see, again, it's very finicky. <laughs> when I typed it in, <clears throat> I had to actually type Paris and the search bar and click on it there. Okay. Or it did the same thing to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There. Then I'm going to go here. Right, sign in. All right, I'm I'm not gonna make you guys wait. So um we'll just go ahead. Let me try this one real quick. Maybe I'm signed up under this one. Okay. 
All right. Um, who? So let me stop share. If you could go ahead and share your screen. Um, again, I apologize. In the meantime, I will keep trying to get signed in over here. So when we get back to it. All right. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So now your guys' quizzes may be out of order and stuff. So please, you know, um, don't worry. And we'll put the answers in. So Paris is synonymous for fashion, history, or architecture? Hmm. Maybe it's architecture. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm thinking architecture because everything that they've shown us so far are things like the Louvre and the Arc de Triomphe that are noted for their architecture. Okay, we'll try that. When are the most of the local uh, monuments closed? Monday and Tuesday? Anybody? Yeah, I would think Monday Tuesday. Okay. What is the best time of year to visit Paris? In the June to August? In June to August. Yeah. Okay. French is the official language. What's the second most spoken language? German, English, or Hin Hindi? I know they, I English, would like to say I English. Think. Yeah, I know they said German was in there, but I think English is more pertinent. Oh, we missed. So it's not architecture. Uh -oh. Maybe it's fashion or history. And then maybe yeah. it's September to October. I don't know. What do you guys think? Mm. I would. Okay, <laughs> so let's go for fashion. I think, yeah, Paris is fashion because they have fashion, that huge fashion week in Paris. So Okay. And I think yeah. it's September to October. Okay, let's try that. Yeah. Those are correct. Yay. Yes. All right. So congratulations, everybody. Um, so if we want to just go ahead, if do you mind, just we'll just go ahead and finish with you. Is that okay? Absolutely. Okay. If perfect. it lets me move forward. <laughs> yep, I'll go ahead and okay. and uh I'll I can still read if you could just go ahead and, and do your screen and I and I just posted the screenshot of the quiz, so. Thank you. So for right. those still trying to get registered, trying to I get I appreciate in. you because I had to stop it. for a second to go save my puppy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's now not letting me click continue. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I tell you, that's, 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 that's what's doing the same thing, Jenna. That's what's sad about, about. It takes a few minutes. Yeah, this program, it's it's very, very finic finicky, but uh, um. Again, I wanted to try to get this done so when I go, you know, because we only have three days. We signed up for the um, Marriott. We're using the Marriott perks when we go and stuff. And so we're trying to figure out, actually, um, I think Paris, we got figured out what we're going to do. But London, we're still trying to figure out things to do for London. So I want to do that. Uh, Are you going? Do you like art museums? Marnie? Um, I do, um, you know, but it's my daughter's birthday, so I'm letting her do her thing. Um, but I know she wanted to do the Louvre, but uh, what other one? People just call it the Louvre. Louvre, that's what yeah. I, that's, yeah, Louvre. that's what she would pronounce it, yeah. And uh, yeah. what other ones would you recommend? Um, the Musée de, the Musée de Orsay is beautiful. It's in a, I mean, I haven't been to Paris in years, but it was beautiful. It's built in an old train. The building is an old train station, and it's mm -hmm. mostly impressionist art. Oh. Um, Very um, nice. Yeah, you definitely want to. You definitely want to see the Eiffel Tower and okay. and Notre Dame. Okay, perfect. Um, um, yeah. Enjoy. In London, Barney. You might want to do the Jack the Ripper tours. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, that's we're going to do that or the dungeon, the dungeon tour, or whatever. Um, but yeah, yeah that's a, I I love all that stuff. We do the Halloween horror nights and everything. So, 
All right. So avoid keeping Metro tickets near metal or coins. And usually we'll re, um, you know, deactivate them. So the first rule for enjoying a vacation in Paris is that you must never carry the baggage of your constitutional city rules because of the city of fun and fashion is nothing like you might ever see. From the public transportation to the food chains, the city boasts an innovations which have been adopted to make public transit more accessible. Take, for example, the subway system, which issues, issues tickets equipped with a sensitive magnet strip, much like a debit card. It holds information about the trip and validates. For any common traveler and acquainted with the um, nuances of the same handling, the mere subway tickets can become a menace since the magnet strip in its subway tickets can become demagnetized after encountering metal. So if you are new to the card-shaped subway tickets of Metro Networks, it would be better to observe the people while they're using it and safeguard it from all objects. <clears throat> so again, that's happened many times with different, you know, even some hotel cards, right? All right, if you're familiar with mm -hmm. Monday morning blues, um, then be prepared to witness them take over your list of must visit places in Paris. During the first two days of your week, it is utterly unique to Paris that it closes the doors of its artistic museums to all travelers and um, academia missions right after the week. Academia missions. Thank you. <laughs> In fact, you may observe that most of the local monuments are closed on Monday and Tuesday, regardless of their expected football and statues. So before you hop on a bus or a subway, be sure checking the opening and closing times of the monument or museum you are planning to visit. However, in case you find yourself in the midst of this unique extended Monday morning blues, do gear up to take a walk around the city for an even more st uh, stroll in its architecturally sound lanes. It's sure to per push up your spirits. So luckily we're going, I think, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we're lucky there. All right, don't shop from souvenir shops. Indeed, how can a travel experience become memorable unless it is remarked by the uh, most charming set of souvenirs? But going on a souvenir hunt at Paris may become a disaster rather than a pleasant day. If you want to find your perfect Paris gift at the glass win window windowed bright shops, which are common amongst the main streets of the city, while they have been placed at areas and maximum tourist density, for the convenience of the latter, they dissuade dissuade from being comfortable to the to the tight and light traveler pockets. If you wish to take a ba back a bag full of memories from your sojourn in Paris, keep away from the flashy souvenir shops. They are expensive and offer end up burning and often often end up burning a hole in your budget. Instead, ask the friendly locals about the flea markets to shop your heart out where classy goods are available at affordable prices and your negotiation skills can come in handy for getting the most of lesser value of cash. So again, um, you know, we do that in Mexico a lot. You know, you, you barter with them, right? All right, next. <clears throat> bum, bum, bum. All right, don't dress like a tourist. One of the things to avoid when in Paris, not looking like a tourist. No debating, Paris is a pot of varied cultures into which every distinct individual pours a portion of his or her part of the world. But do not use the understanding of the city to consider packing your traditional um, or native dresses for the tour. Even though no authority at the city can legally stop you from using its lanes as a demonstration ramp for your culture, the googly-eyed shopkeepers at the city's eateries, gift shops, and tourist places are sure to use your inexperience. Needless to say, for a traveler in the garb of uncommon attire, items across markets tend to be at teeth-biting rate. While they might not be so for you, if you assimil assimilate in the city's crowds ingeniously, dress as much like a local as you can to grab great bargains when shopping at any of the flea markets or savoring mouthwatering dishes from any of the local eateries. Even when attire doesn't guarantee you cheaper expenses, it would definitely take you from one step closer to feeling at home in Paris. All right now, places to eat. Who's our foodies here? All right, La Barathin, one of the best places to savor authentic Par Parisian food is at La Barathin. Chef Raquel Karina 
keep changing the menu constantly. From mackerel to tar to tuna steak with black cherries and rabbit and mushroom ragu with red wine sauce. This Argentine born self-taught chef loves experimenting when it comes to satisfying the palate. You have a uh, steak a la tarte. Ba, ba, ba. Um, this one place is for both steak lovers and travelers with enthusiasm for international cuisines. Texture, intense, mineral rich, um, herbaceous flavor of steak are enough to leave the guests craving for more. Head to this incredible place with a wonderful setting to satisfy both your craving for good food and perfect ambiance. You have restaurant La Orangeries, okay? Um, opened in the summer of 2016, this restaurant is famed. Four season restaurant already topping the charts in all grades list of fine Paris restaurants. The chic yet glamorous setting of the eatery attracts hundreds of food connoisseurs traveling to Paris, serving excellent seafood. This restaurant is a must visit to treat the taste buds. Marsh, Marche de Cervantes Room. Okay. And again, brrr. from Lebanese sandwiches <laughs> to Caribbean dishes, Marsh de Cervantes Rouges, Rouges is an all year hot spot for food lovers. This area houses several stalls that sell everything from bento boxes to couscous. So if you are someone who loves experimenting with their palate, this is the right place to be. Next, Sushi B, no, Marche de, no, yeah, Sushi B Paris. Oh. All right, Sushi B Paris, serving authentic Japanese cuisine. This place will surely leave you surprised. The service, the austere Japanese atmosphere and mouth-watering Japanese food make this place a must visit, even for those who haven't tried sushi in their life. A must try here includes um, top and number with crab sauce, grilled tuna, and a dashi with turbo. Okay, you have Allard. Bum, bum, bum. Taste the beauty and flavors of classic Paris gourmet at the Allard, which now remains as last of the many restaurants offering dishes. Uh, from the very uh, boulevards of French history. Here, you taste food from all your senses, appetizing through visual appeal, alluring through delicious smoky vapors, and of course, tingling the taste buds through an elaborate eating meal. And last but not least, Ms. Dawn. And then we have our, la our last test for this one. So get ready, guys. And then we'll move on to expert. Again, you can join us for expert if you want. You do not need to. I recommend it though. Remember also, click up at the top, all slides, if you want to save this itinerary to refer back to with the pictures. So remember the dish of contention in Disney's Ratatouille? Well, now you know where you can find it in its best taste in all of Paris. Maison is not limited to just that. Here you find is really... Food with French finesse, usually accompanied by a plump, soft, and juicy pita. In the rare chance you are vegetarian going out on a limb with French menus, freely order strange-sounding dishes at this eatery where they offer tons of vegetarian options. Yay! La 52, the strategic spot for local gossip and even banking experts. The eateries of La 52 are spread out across France and not just about serving gorgeous cuisine. You can find the aesthetics of neo brasier interior decorations invented by Charles Campanon alongside your modern French meal at this place. Dedicated to give a good time to its diners, step time changers are the currency of life and the only Parisian modern French meal at this place dedicated to giving a good time to its diners. Step time changes are the currency of life, the only Parisian restaurant Following the self-same motto is La Set Sept Time, where exquisite, creative, plant or vegetable focused dishes are changed every two weeks. Despite the high quality of the food offered, you may not find a trace of fine dining pomp and chef arrogance at these humbling place. Delve into its dishes for their mouth-watering flavors, bursting textures, 
La Ami Jean in this relatively modern joint in Paris experiments with the essential requirements of restaurants by offering light ambiance, hearty food, tongue licking food, fine dining inspired presentations at lower prices. It sought out dishes like per Parmesan soup with cabbage and bonito flakes are stark examples of high flavors and adventurous spaces. That sounds kind of good. Parme par Parmesan soup with cabbage. Okay, yeah. I'm a vegetarian most of the time. <laughs> I'm a fake vegetarian, okay? <laughs> Tell you more about that later. Okay, so take the quiz. All right, let's go. All right, what is the number of artwork housed in the Louvre Museum? Louvre. 30,000. 30,000? 30. 30, thank you. It's 30. Which is another name for Paris? City of Lights? Which of the City following of is a picnic ground? So now, okay. Which of the following bookstores is unique? Shakespeare, yes. Go ahead, spend the night at the Shakespeare bookstore. Which of these has a gothic? Oh, Marnie, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't hear the last question. All right, the shakes, the following bookstore is Shakespeare. Okay, yeah. Somebody, somebody. Guys, stop. Um, if you guys could, could mute yourself, that would be yeah. good. All right. Um, so the bookstore is Shakespeare. The Gothic Thank architecture. You. Is that Notre Dame? I am not sure, but uh, what would Paris? Yes, catacombs? it's Notre Dame. Thank you. Catacombs originally called <clears throat> quarries, underground railways, or national graveyard. Uh, uh, no, mm. Skip okay. over that for a minute. Which of the following is the commercial waterway of Paris? Hmm. Is that the sign? I know they had, or the rib. I know they had a couple of them, right? I believe it's the Seine. Seine overall, and then they have the two separate. All right, which yeah. one plan a picnic when in Paris? Mm. Well, the Louvre is a museum, though, right? So at the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Yeah, at the, the, the Eiffel yeah, Tower. At the Champs de Mars. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, which is the place that showcases the dark side of Paris? The catacombs. <laughs> yep. Out yes. of these places, which is the best to visit with kids? Disneyland. All right. So we have one left that we didn't get. What is the catacombs originally called? Quarries. The quarry. Thank you. Quarry. Okay. All right. Thanks. Let's check it out. Ding, ding, ding. Can you go through them? Hold on, hold I'm, on. I'm hold taking on. screenshots, okay. y'all. Hang on. We got 10 <laughs> out of 10. Go ahead. And, well, that, I don't know if you can. Did anybody take a picture or, or print them? I, I'm getting them right now. Okay, she's going to put it in the chat for you guys. Um, So this is what your There's certificate one. will look like. So again, congratulations, everybody. Um, Excited for you guys. And um, we're going to move on to the expert class. So um, again, print your certificate. If you guys wanna move on to the next group, um, feel free. If you are done, then you can go ahead and stop here. It's up to you. But I always recommend finishing them both if you can. Okay, guys, um, because that's best. So again, thank you, Suzanne, for putting the answers in there. Um, again, guys, You're as welcome. I said, we, you know, we help each other. We keep, um, you know, this is about teamwork, so let's uh, do it. So, all right. So, do, 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 do. No, I have not. Only Nina and hold on, sorry. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so overview, panoramic view of Paris. Um, okay, so you guys, I do have these on my YouTube. I will be posting them. So again, um, don't worry if you miss something or if you want to share, I just put my YouTube in there. All right, so 
The city of Paris derives its name um, from its early inhabitants of the Celtic Parisal tribe who found the city in 250 BC. And just so you guys know, these are, you know, these expert ones give you like more of a history, okay? So again, um, they can be a little boring and not exciting as the first one, okay? <laughs> so just wanted to share that. Um, Paris became the capital of France in the third century AD. And today it is also the most populous um, of city of France located in the north central part of the country in the region of La de France. Paris, um, the capital of France, is one of the most beautiful cities in the world and a continuously evolving city. Its visual appeal is easily appreciated as a visitor experiences one stunning vista after another. From the epic Eiffel Tower to the regal Jardin des Tularis to the petite cafes by its sidewalks to the unsurpassed cultural riches of Paris. Whether a visitor opts to explore the historic fashion, uh, conscious of uh, Burgos, Bohemian, or arty sites of Paris, the City of Lights is to sure enthrall and the immortal dialogue of the actress Audrey Hepburn from the um, holiday movie Sabrina encapsulates the city, spirit of the city, where she famously stated, Paris is always a good idea. For centuries, uh, Paris has been a must-visit destination for visitors traveling on the grand tours of Europe. In 2016, Paris was ranked as the third most visited city in the world after Bangkok and London. What makes it so popular? The city's aesthetic beauty, its rich history, its beautiful language, its incredible museum, its renowned cuisine, its romantic bistros, its fashions, its architecture, its iconic monuments, the Ribby River sign, are all some of the unique compelling elements that contribute to its ever-growing mystique and lure. However, when one may think that they know Paris, there is always something new to discover. Districts change, old ones get restored, whole new areas go up, and old areas post-renovation become the latest hipster hangouts. There is always a new bar, restaurant to check out, a new star baker, or the latest gallery. True to um, true clue to Paris's appeal is that despite being one of the most visited cities in the world, it is also intensely lived in with no empty heart in the center and a city and a visitor can also play at being a Parisian. Okay, we need to move down. I don't know if there's more or if you can move on. So, okay. Ooh, okay, so it looks like next. Okay, so these I'm not gonna read over, but if somebody wants to take a screen print um, because they may say, when was the Parliament of Paris founded, okay? Again, we're not going to remember that, 1250. So take a picture of these. I'm not going to read through every single one of these. Um, again, these are some of the, the ones when you get to the expert. It's mainly doing timelines and stuff, okay? So just wanted to share that. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Unless uh, did everybody or did somebody get a copy of that to share? So um, because we need you on that test. <laughs> All right. Bah, 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 bah. All right, next. Again, um, lots of um, details on, you know, the, the timelines of when things happen. The first bat battalion of Paris being organized. Um, so definitely, okay, 1587, Arabic language question, okay. Um, is that that's one of the questions. Thank you, Janine. So Janine's jumping ahead and we have to find out when was the Arabic language on, um, you know, brought in. So if you see that, let us know because that's a test question. All right. So next. So again, if somebody took a picture, we can find that out. So go ahead with next, next. All right. I just put the full uh, PowerPoint in there. Perfect, thank you. All right, so again, you guys can save the slides too up at the top. And again, <laughs> I, I apologize, but again, if you know if somebody else wants to read all these, um, I'm not gonna remember mm -hmm. them. So it's like, uh, I think it's take a lot of time and, and, uh, and we're not going to kind of, you know, keep unless you guys are speed readers and, and can, you know, <laughs> keep, keep these in your head. I, I can't. OK, so here we are. Test time. All right. So, again, um, if somebody's good at checking, um, you know, doing a, a search, 
So again, which year did Euro Disney open? I see 19, what is it? Does anybody see Disney? Just a bit. We can open it up and maybe do a, a search. Uh, um, That's what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, Disney, 1992. 92, thank you. French king made Paris the capital of France. Who was it? Sorry, I'm trying to get to my quiz page. No worries. <laughs> okay. Here's his French king. I don't even have that question okay again it may be out of order just remember that um, it yeah, was, it's been all the way down and I don't have that one. Okay, that's fine. You may have a different one. So let's go through them. And then as we go through them, if you guys have different ones, we will make sure we get those answered for you. All right. Which year did the historic Hotel Ritz Paris open? 68, 78, 88, or 98? All right. Um, Janine is saying that the French king is Clovis. Okay. Thank you, Janine. Unless somebody found otherwise. All right. So Hotel mm -hmm. Ritz Paris. If somebody wants to look for the football club when that was founded, how about Hotel Maurice? And that Eiffel Tower. So we need the dates of Hotel Ritz, Germain Football, Hotel Maurice, mm -hmm. and the Eiffel Tower. Okay. Hotel Ritz is 1898. Thank you. Looks like Hotel Maurice, 1815, somebody said. I looked that one up. That was 1815. Thank you. Which one's that? Uh, For the Hotel Maurice. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Um, St. Germain Football Club founded and the Eiffel Tower. When did that open? Um, okay. Saint-Germain. Uh, Paris Saint-Germain is 1970. Right. Okay. The tower. The tower is 1889. The Paris Germain Football Club was founded in 1970. Yeah, I don't think I have the Eiffel Tower question. I have something else, I think. Yeah, I've got a yeah, I don't have the Eiffel around. Tower either. Does anybody have the Louvre question? In which year was the Fortress of the Louvre completed? Yeah, I, I do. Did anybody find that? Not yet. Hold on. The Fortress yeah. of the Loop? Yeah. It's 1202 AD. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Also, I have a question. In which year did teaching of Arabic language commence in College de France? Oh. I don't have a uh, Arabic was 1587. I have which year did the European the Eurostar rail, rail service commence between London and Paris? That, that one, one was 1994. 94? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Yep. How about French Air? I mean, Air France? Air France was, was 1933. 33? Did someone say when the Fortress of Louvre was completed? 
Uh, yeah, someone said it was 12 or two. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have a, a list of actresses with a quote. That, that, uh, that one is Audrey Hepburn. Hepburn. Uh, Audrey Hepburn. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It was the movie Sabrina. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Woohoo! All right, congratulations, everybody. Nine out of ten. All right. So, um, yeah, that was a tough one. That's why I'm saying. If anyone else has. Uh, Air France, it's 1933. 1933, okay. In which year did Historical Hotel Rix Paris open? I'm yeah. sorry, which one? In which year did the Historic Years. Hotel Rix Paris open? Rix. 1898. Thank you. Yeah. What year was the Arabic language commenced? Uh, Arabic, hang on, type it back in. 1587, I think, it wasn't somebody said that? Uh, yes, 1587. Thank you. Yeah. I've missed a lot of the questions. Can somebody go through them? I... Tell and us what your... questions you have. Yeah, what do you have? Can... I don't have yeah. your star rail. Okay, what okay. questions do you have, though? Okay, so I don't have Eurostar Rail, if somebody could tell me that one. I'm pulling it up now. Okay. Uh, Eurostar Rail is 1994. Okay, and then I missed the, what, the Eiffel Tower? Did it open? Uh. No, that's not it. Hang on. Next. Hang on. <laughs> Eiffel Tower I opened 1889. Okay. And then I just missed one other one, the historic Hotel Ritz. Uh, that one was uh, 1898. 18. Thank you. All right. Does anyone else need any help? Sorry, sorry guys. What was the Air France one? Vax vacation sorry. access. Anyone here who actually familiar with Vax vacation? Air France was 1933. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. All right. So again, the answers are in there, right? So make sure everybody passes. Did anybody get questions that weren't on there? Mm -hmm. Want to make sure everybody passes. I think we've answered all of them, but anyone still need something? Please speak up. <laughs> yes, yes, please. Okay. All right. Um, if not, we're going to move forward to uh, asking the chats. Did you have something? Yeah, the Fortress Lube. I, I was on mute and I didn't. Fortress Lube? The, what was the question? Yes. Yes. Which year uh, was the Fortress Lube completed? Okay. Anybody got that? When was the uh, Lube completed? Again, Google's yeah. your best friend. I can pull that up really quick and check. All right. <laughs> when was the... Built. Uh, 1793, is that in that? Uh, the Fortress of Louvre was completed in 1202. Oh, Fortress of Louvre, sorry. Okay, thank you. Is that in there? Yep. yep. Thank you so much. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> All right. Okay, so reach um, the popularity of the French language is global. French is known as the Romance language as it draws heavily on Latin, historically spoken by the ancient Romans. Besides, the Celtic, the Gaulish, and Old Frankish languages have also left their inedible, ind indelible mark on the French language. It is widely regarded to be one of the most eloquent languages in the world. Below, we are listing the facts that underline the global appeal of the French language. A, French is spoken across the entire globe. It is also only language alongside English that is taught in every country across the world. 
French is the working language of the United Nations, European Union, and of international organizations like NATO, Red Cross, Doctors Without Borders, International Olympic Committee, and many more such organizations. French-speaking scientists, technicians have been responsible for some of the biggest techno technological advancements like cinema, hot air balloons, smart cards, to name a few. At current estimates, there are over 100 million French language students and over 2 million teachers. French language has more than a million words and about 20,000 new words are added each year to this language. Wow, that's crazy, right? The English language draws heavily from the French language and more than 40% of its words are of French origin. France is known for its fine dining as well as wine, um, fine, its wine exports. French language goes beyond the restaurant, goes into the kitchen as well. Chefs globally have worked to master French food, wine terminology such as julienne, consommé, foie gras, bisque, brie, la star tartare, la crepe, sauvignon blanc, Blanc de Blancs, Cuvaille, again, sorry, Grand Cru, <laughs> Grand Vin are all quite commonly used. The organizations International de la Francophonie represents those countries and regions in the world where the French language is widely spoken, has ties to the French culture. There are a total of 57 member states covering six out of the seven continents. Popu popular French comic series Asterix has been translated into more than 100 languages. French is young, vibrant, international language spoken by over 275 million people around the world. Whew. All right, next. Ba, ba, ba. All right, the French culture can best be defined by the country's motto and how it nurtures its people. Its motto is liberty, equality, and fraternity. It has a long history dating back to the French Revolution. The essence of French culture lies in the motto which focuses on freedom and it has and continues to manifest itself in all walks of French life. France and especially its capital Paris has been influenced over the century by its history, varied topography and its relations with its neighboring countries as well with its erstwhile colonies. Since the 17th century, Paris has been the world's leading center for arts, fashion, gastronomy, music, entertainment, fashion, and culture. Its unique 19th century cityscape crossed, um, crisscrossed by wide boulevards and the river sign and beyond its many renowned architectural landmarks, such as medieval Gothic Notre Dame Cathedral, the world's most visited arts museum, Laveau, um, the iconic um, Eiffel Tower. The city is also known for its superlative um, opera, ballets, vibrant cafe culture, lively night scene, rich literature, renowned French films, designer boutiques, and much more, which come together to offer unrivaled experiences to its visitors who are first timers and repeat visitors. Next. All right. Um, Bon, bon, bon. Notre Dame de Paris is a rich re repository of French culture. Um, oops, sorry. Can you go up a little more? <laughs> sorry, there you go. All right, history, architecture, technological advancements of the times in which they were built and tell an exciting tale of how this grand city evolved over centuries in form of its palaces, churches, and museums. Come, let TVO Academy and you move forward in exploring understanding the Paris city better through its monuments and museums. So Notre Dame de Paris, majestic 850 years old cathedral, the most visited monument of Paris. Um, Paris. <laughs> the name translates to Our Lady of Paris. It is also known as the Notre Dame. It is located on the Isle de la Seine in the fourth arrondissement of Paris and was built on the site earlier occupied by a pagan temple and later by a Romanesque church. Its construction commenced under Bishop Maurice de Soli in 1163, test question, and was completed in 1345 AD. It is dedicated to Virgin Mary. Um, strong, com um, compact unit notable for being one of the largest religious buildings in the world. For uniformity of its elegant design and also highlights of the introduction of new technical element in its architecture, the flying buttress 
It is widely considered to be one of the finest examples of the French Gothic architecture. Standout features of the Notre Dame Cathedral are the exterior, gargoyles at the top. They were added in 1240 AD by church to illustrate evil to um, worshipers. Decorative element of the architecture and also serve as rain spouts to carry rainwater away to protect masonry from water damage. Its facade shows a distinct harmony of design, represents a level of detailed craftsmanship. The facade has three elaborately decorated portals, especially the middle entrance with carvings representing the Judgment Day standouts. Stained glass windows, particularly the three rose windows, are one of the most famous and viewed features of the cathedral. The big lateral roses are some of the largest in Europe. The twin towers of imposing and ornate and go as high as 226 feet and have 387 steps. The climb to the top offers reward-winning views to the view visitors of this Paris city of the magnificent spire and the gargoyles and the carrion birds placed atop the Notre Dame. 39 wow. of them remain of the 102 originally built. Kind of sad, they've fallen apart, right? Archaeologically, mm. archaeological crypt, who established in 1965, managed by the Musée Carnavale. The crypt contains a range of historical ruins ranging from the earliest settlement in Paris to the modern day, including underfloor heating installed during Roman times. You have the bells. Notre Dame has 10 bells and the largest of them are called Emmanuel, weighing, weighing over 13 tons. Housed in the South Tower, it is toiled with other bells on occasions, services, and to mark the hours of the day. A visitor can experience astonishing acoustics during a mass. And then the crown of thorns and other holy relics. Notre Dame is host to one of the most important relics in all of Christendom. The crown of thorns worn by Jesus Christ during his crucifixion, a piece of the true cross, and one of the holy nails. All are housed in the uh, relic reliquary. Uh, reliquary sorry. The crown is a twisted wreath of Baltic rush measuring 21 centimeters in diameter and the entwined uh, reeds there are no um there are no thorns as they were removed over the centuries and the branches are bound by gold threads said to represent the missing thorns and the circlet is preserved inside a jeweled crystal and gold tube housed in the treasure of the cathedral holiest of the christian relic is presented to the public on special occasions wow that would be cool to see anybody see that Mm. kind of cool okay um it oops. okay there we go all right the second most visited monument is the, the sacre cor <laughs> what it's called the sacre cor oh thank you okay <laughs> Um, the name translates sacred heart in English, representing Jesus Christ's un unconditional love for humanity. The basilica is located on the summit of the hill of Montmartre um, on the right bank of the river Seine in the 18th Arrondissement, and is the second highest point in Paris city after the Eiffel Tower. It was designed by architect Paul Abadi in the Rom Romano Byzantine style and its construction commenced in 1875 AD and completed in 1914 AD, financed entirely from private donations. Standout features of this are the church that cleans itself, the strikingly white exterior marks uh, the company or architect Paul Abadi specifically chose travertine stone for its construction. Very resistant and in contact with water when it rains, the stones release a substance called calcite that cleans the stone and enables it to keep the white color. Sounds kind of cool, right? The facade, the triple arch por uh, portico, features two bronze um, the Christian statues of Joan of Arc and King St. Louis the, the 15th on horseback. The main portal has giant bronze doors with foliage designs. Basilica interiors, the light and architectural details focus attentions on the apse, the place of the liturgical celebration and adoration of the Holy Sacrament. The interior of the church contains one of the world's uh, largest mosaics, which depicts Christ with outstretched arms. The floor plan is an equal armed Greek 
cross with the large dome over the crossing. In the huge choir, 11 tall round arches support a barrel vault. The grand pipe organ of the uh, soccer career, sorry, is considered to be one of the most remarkable in France and Europe. It was built in 1898 AD and the last great instrument built by the illustrious astride Caval Col. Uh, the Grand Pipe Organ um, is considered to be one of the most remarkable. Um, oh, that's what I just read. So Savoyard is the majestic bell weighing 19 tons, one of the world's heaviest bells built in 1895 in the Alpine French city of Annecy. And then the dome accessible to the visitors and affords panoramic views of the city of Paris on a clear day. Mm -hmm. All right, next. All right, so symbol of Paris and the global culture icon of France is also known as the most recognizable structures in the world. Located on the Champ de Mars, besides the River Seine, is the structure that was built in 1887 and 1889 AD, and the tower is named after its architect, Gustave Eiffel. Know the Eiffel Tower better? Um, its height is 1,000. 63 feet tall, including antenna. It is the highest structure in Paris and held the record of being the tallest tower in the world for 41 years till 1930 AD until the Chrysler building was built in New York City. It weighs 10,100 tons. Its purpose initially it was envisioned as a temporary centerpiece for the 1899, sorry guys, um, hold on, 1899, I'm gonna mute this. Um, there you go, 1899 Ex Exposition Universal, a world fair to celebrate the centennial of the French Revolution. An engineering marvel, the design of this structure is attributed to Maurice Coachland and Emile Nagour, uh, whose initial design uh, sketch described it as a great pylon consisting of four lattice girders standing apart from the base and coming together at the top. Later, Stephen Silvestre added decorative archers, a glass pavilion, and other embellishments. The tower was constructed with 18,038 pieces of wrought iron, which are held together with over two and a half million rivers, rivet, rivets. Uh, Gustave um, Eiffel demonstrated by using latisse wrought iron in construction of the Eiffel Tower that metal could be strong as stone while being lighter. When Eiffel Tower was built, it shocked people by its daring form, and Gustave Eiffel was accused of creating something artistic with no regard to the principles of engineering, while he and his team had clearly considered the importance of the wind in designing this project. Hence, all parts of the tower were over-designed to ensure uh, maximum resistance to the wind forces. Hence, the tower sways up to nine meters in the wind and remains stable. The sun also affects the tower as the sun facing side of the tower heats up. To, um, the top moves as much as seven inches and during cold weather, Eiffel Tower shrinks about six inches. Eiffel Tower has three floors, 1,710 steps. Tower is repainted every seven years and requires 60 tons of paint. In 1910, Theodore Wolf measured radiant energy at the top and bottom of the tower and discovered what it is known today as cosmic rays. Communication, since the 20th century, the tower has been used for making radio communications. During World War I, one of this, um, its transmitters jammed German radio communication, playing a role in the Allied victory in the Battle of Marne. Marne? <laughs> the intercepts of German intelligence also helped in the capture of the famous spy Matahari. Today, radio and digital TV signals are transmitted from the tower. Contributors, the names of the engineers, scientists, mathematicians who contributed to its construction are engraved on the side of the tower. You have the experience, the visit to Eiffel Tower to experience the immensity of Paris is always a special moment for visitors in Paris. Sensational, emotional, romantic, the magic begins at the feet of the Iron Lady as Eiffel Tower is nicknamed. The first floor with its transparent floor and new facilities is one of the most spectacular places to be. Stroll on the glass floor, experience the unique sensation of walking above the void and view the city of lights. Panoramic views of Paris City can be enjoyed from the second floor, besides also taking animated displays of the construction of Eiffel Tower and the operation of the old hydraulic lift. 
The third floor offers striking views of the city, houses Gustav Eiffel's um, office, where he received dignitaries by invitation and the wax statues of the prominent visitors and the wax model at the top of the tower, painted in the original red-brown color when it was first painted, is kept here. Dining at the Eiffel Tower, La Jules Verne, a one um, Michelin star restaurant located 400 feet above Paris on the second floor of the South Pillar, offers food servicing great views, 58 tour Eiffel restaurant. Located on the first floor is a less formal dining option, buffet tour Eiffel and macaron. Macaron bar offers casual food on the first and second floor. Champagne bar located on the top offers only champagne and incredible views of Paris. Paris. All right. Next in, um, look, um, okay, this is that one. Uh, uh, Triumph, located on the western end of Champs Elysees at the center of the place Charles de Gaulle. Construction of the Arc de Triomphe was commissioned by the French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte after his victory in the Battle of Austerlitz, Austerlitz in 1806 AD, completed in 1836 AD under the reign of the King Louis Philippe, 15 years after the death of Napoleon. The monument honors those soldiers who fought and died for France in French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. The monument was designed by Jean Chagrin, and after his death, the work was taken over by Gust uh, Jean Nicolas Huyet and Huricot de Tori. The Arc de Trump is positioned at the center of 12 avenues at the end of the Champs Elysees, and the avenues are named after French military leaders. The Triumphant Arc was inspired by the Roman Arc of Titus and has been built in the neoclassical style of architecture. It is 164 feet in height, 148 feet wide, 72 feet deep. Following its construction, the Arc being the rallying point of the French troops parading after successful military campaigns, and for the annual Bastille Day Military Parade. Four main sculptural groups of each of the arc pillars are La Depart by 1792 by Franz uh, Soys uh, Rude celebrates the cause of the First French Republic. The Triumph 1810, Jean-Pierre Cordard celebrates the Treaty of Chambrun featuring Napoleon crowned by the goddess of history. La Resistance 1814, Antoine Atex commemorates the French resistance to the Allied armies. La Porte de 1815, Antoine Atex commemorates this Treaty of Paris. And then six relief sculptures on the facades of the arch represent important moments of the French Revolution, Napoleonic era. In the attic, there are 30 shields, which are engraved with the names of the major Neapolitanic uh, military victories. The ceiling is decorated, sculpted roses. Observation deck at the height of 164 feet offers some of the best views of Paris. All right, next. Overview of Hardin. Okay, so uh, located in the first um, iridescence of Paris between Lavour and Place de la Cour. 1564 AD, Catherine de Medici commissioned the construction of Palais des Terlaris, which later became the residence of many French monarchs like Henry the, the 15th, Louis the, what is that, the 14th, I don't know, Sun King Napoleon. The Garden of Terlaris Palace is formal 28 hectares garden, which now forms part of the Banks of Seine, UNESCO World Heritage Site, and is filled, that could be a test question, and is filled with fountains, ponds, sculptures, and two museums. It is one of the most visited attractions in Paris. The Tularis Garden, as we see it today, was completely redesigned by the renowned landscaper André Le Notre in French style in the reign of Louis the that one in the reign of <laughs> I think that's the fourteenth. 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 That's the fourteenth. Yeah. Yep. In the reign of Napoleon the Third, two identically built um, buildings were added and are now known as Georges de Palm National Gallery and the Orangerie. It is now a modern art museum. The garden also home to Aristide Mallet's statue, animal statues of Auguste Kahn, and since 1998, new contemporary sculptures from the likes of Rodin, Henry Moore, all, um, also grace the park. 
The other areas of the special interests of Tolores Garden are Jardin du Carousel, Therese, Moat of Charles the Fifth, no, the Tenth. What is that? Fifth. Right? That's Fifth. You were the right. Grand Carri of Tolarius, La, La Grande Carrette of the Tolarius, and two museums. Ooh. All right, next. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Anybody else want to read? <laughs> Would you so, like someone to give you a break? Uh, yeah, I'll read, I'll read another one. Officially known as the Palace of Park of Versailles was the royal residence of the French monarchs from 1682 AD until the French Revolution of 1789 AD. Commissioned I highly by the recommend Sun going here if you have time. Huh? I highly recommend going to the Palace of Versailles if you have time. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I'll put that on here. All right, built on the French Baroque architectural style, one of the most opulent royal residents in Europe. Covers a total land area of 2014 acres. The palace has 700 rooms, 2153 windows, 1200 fireplaces, 67 staircases, contains 6,000 paintings, 5,000 pieces of furniture and other objects. Today, the Palace of Versailles is one of the most visited sites in France. Visitors are drawn from its stunning grandeur, lavish decor, its aesthetically created water features, splendid um, gardens, and illustrious history. Located in Yvennes, um, about 20 kilometers from Paris, the highlights of the UNESCO World Heritage Site are the Hall of Mirrors. Glittering Hall of Mirrors is the central gallery of the Palace of Versailles. It is the Versailles. It is the largest, most beautiful room of the palace and one of the most famous rooms in the world. 73 meters room owes its name to the 17 massive ornamental mirrors, each in 18 segments facing 17 windows overlooking the park. This ensemble creates a striking effect uh, where the room sparkles with sunlight entering through the windows and reflecting off the mirrors. Designed by Jules Hardin Mossart and decorated by painter Charles Lebrun, the room's intricate bronze work is uh, statuary, beautifully painted walls and ceiling and epitomize its opulence and was the setting of many 17th, 18th century royal ceremonies and festivities. Historic Treaty of Versailles is 1919 AD, marking the end of World War I, was signed here, and state guests, including Queen Elizabeth II and the Kennedys, have been entertained here. The Grand Tri Trianon, Trianon, perhaps the most refined architecture ensemble found in the royal estate of Versailles, built in pink marble, the influence of the Italian architect texture is quite evident. The palace is set over a single story flanked by a courtyard on one side and gardens of the other. The standout features of the Grand Trianon are Empress Bedroom, Mirror Room, Chapel Room, Peristyle, The Round Room, The Music Room, Louis Philippe, Philippe's Family Room, Malachit Room, Cool Room, Cortel Gallery, The Garden Room, The Emperor's Private Chambers, and Trianon Peace Treaty was signed here in 1920. Could be a test question. Petit Trianon, built in neoclassical French style, is given as a gift by Louis the 16th to his bride Marie Antoinette. The domain of the former empress also includes Queen's Hamlet, a rustic retreat where she could escape from the regimented port light. Also contained a meadowland with lakes and streams, very calm, temple of love, Belvedere, neighboring grotto with the, and a cascade. Post the French Revolution, Petit Trinon became a hostel, but, um, but Napoleon Bonaparte restored the palace and gardens to their former glory, and later Empress Eugenie, um, Eugenie, wife of Napoleon III, converted the palace into a museum dedicated to the memory of Marie Antoinette. The Royal Chapel, completed in 1710, is impressive and opulent. Visitors can admire its artistry on its vaulted ceiling. Greek columns are polished and massive. Prince and princesses were baptized here and did their first communions here. Its altar is witness to the marriage of Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette. The Opera Royal, designed by André Jacques Gabriel, can seat up to 1,200 guests. Later addition to the Palace of Versailles 
completed in time to celebrate the royal wedding of Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette and was inaugurated in 1770 AD. The Opera House features harmonious neoclassical colonnade of iconic columns. Interior is ornately decorated with gilded uh, bronze, marble, and mirrors. The Garden of Chateau of Versailles spread across 1976 acres are a haven of greenery and were designed by Andre La Notre. The orderly gardens are more like a piece of artwork than a scene of nature. Lawns are shaped in geometric um, patterns, two ornamental pools decorated with fountains and statues. Expansive pathways, including a royal walk known as the green carpet, flower beds, vegetable garden, orangery of Louis the 14th and the classical colonnade is one of the most peaceful areas in the park. History of France Museum, um, King Louis Philippe uh, transferred part of Chateau of Versailles um, into a museum located in the history of France. The museum displays pictures and sculptures illustrated French uh, history and the Crusades of the 19th century. Grand Canal was designed by André La Notre. The Grand Canal is a masterpiece of the Garden of Versailles. Cross-shaped Grand Canal is 1.5 kilometers long, 62 meters wide, and a total rim of 5.5 kilometers. Principal access is extends to the perspective of the gardens to the infinity. All right, let me put this in. Okay. Do, do, do. It's situated, okay, this is Pantheon Paris, situated on the highest point of the left bank of the sign it is the fifth Arona descent um, of the historic Latin Quarter Paris, 1740s, and the French monarch Louis the 15th vowed that it should he recover from a serious illness that he was suffering from, he would build a new church to replace the derelict abbey of St. Genie. Post his recovery, the monarch tasked the architect Circle to build it. With delays, deaths, and financial issues, the project was completed around the time of the French Revolution, 1791 AD. Church was laid out in the form of a massive Greek cross, Corinthian columns, and the massive domes held up by hidden flying buttresses. It was built as a church. However, many changes is now functions as a secular mausoleum containing the remains of national heroes, distinguished citizens of France. The highlights of the visit to Pantheon is a must do for visitors, not only because of the amazing architecture, but serves as a secular mausoleum honoring those French who contributed to making the world a better place, but also because it is, uh, gives an astonishing overview of the City of Lights. Foucault's Pendulum, 1851 AD, 67 Pendulum was designed to demonstrate the rotation of the earth in the experiment conducted at this very site. Copy of the Pendulum is still displayed at the Pantheon, graves of the greatest French citizens located in the subterranean chamber, the crypt is the final resting place for well-known French poets, writers, scientists. The inscription above the entrance indicates to the great men, the nation is grateful to be inter interred at the Pantheon. One has to be considered a national hero by the parliamentary act. Such of the, um, Some of the pr uh, prominent names include Voltaire, Rosar, Zola, Victor Hugo, Jean Moulin, and the only woman interred here was the scientist, Madame Curry. Um, wasn't she the spooky one from uh, um, from uh, New Orleans? Um, one of the best views in Paris, climb the colonnade encircling the dome for sweeping views of the city. Um, She's a nuclear scientist. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, if I recall correctly, she invented penis or discovered penicillin. Okay, perfect. No, that was Louis Pasteur. I'm sorry. She 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 was involved with X-rays. It's okay. X-ray. <laughs> X-rays. Okay. Sorry to type this. I only know because I'm also a nuclear pharmacist. So <laughs> okay. oh, cool. uh, there you go. I get my scientists all mixed up. <laughs> All right, anybody else want to take a reading? Now, just so you guys know, in 20 minutes, I do have another meeting. So if if so, if you guys want to continue, I can give somebody co-host, um, but I don't know if we'll finish this. So, um, but you guys can continue or we can finish it later. So it's up to you guys. Um, so, you know, we'll keep going. Um, or we can skip over some of these if you want to skip over some of the reading and only read like some of the fun part. I don't know. So it's up to you guys how you want to do it. 
um, like this is talking about all the things and we have the museums and then the cruising. So it looks like it could go on for another, I don't know, hour or so you think? Yeah, I would think it's another hour or so. Probably yeah. a good idea to break and then come back to it. And then come back. Okay. So I will add that. So we'll finish this one up and then we'll start on the museums on the next one. You guys good with that? Yeah. Okay. All right, so located yes. on the Place de la Opera in the ninth arrondissement, the theater was commissioned by Napoleon III as part of his sweeping reconstruction of Paris. It took 14 years to uh, construct and was inaugurated in 1875 AD with a lavish gala performance attended by Marshal McMahon, McMahon, Mahan, sorry, ah, McMahon, the Lord Mayor of London, King Alfonso the, is that the 12th? Well, Spain, well, historically known as Opera de Paris, but popularly known as Palais Gunnar. Um, recognition of its opulence and its architect, Charles Gunnar. It was the primary home of Paris Opera until 1989 AD when Opera Bastille opened and now it is primary use for the ballet. It is iconic structure and one of the most charming opera houses in the world with a seating capacity of over 1,900 people. It can accommodate up to 450 artists. It is 184 feet from the ground level to the apex of the stage flyover. Principal facade is on the south side of the building. 14 painters, mosaic, mosaic, mosaicist, 73 sculptures participated in the creation of its ornamentation. In between the columns of the principal facade are bronze busts of many of the composers like Beethoven, Mozart, Daniel Arbor, Rossini, Spontini, and Philip Quinault. The two gilded figure, figural groups, La Harmonie and La Posse, crown the principal facades left and right, avant, avant corpse, and are made of gilt copper electrotype. It is also houses Paris. Opera Library Museum, which is home to nearly 600,000 documents. The interiors are sumptuous with velvet gold leaf cherubim and nymphs. The grand staircase <laughs> is one of the most famous interior features, is made um, of white marble with balustrades and red and green marble. It divides into two diver divergent Flights of stairs that lead to the grand foyer and painted ceiling above the staircase depicts the triumph of Apollo. The grand foyer is 59 feet high, 550 feet long, 43 feet wide. The hall was designed to act as a drawing room for Paris society. Painted ceiling represents various moments in the history of the music and the seven ton chandelier made with bronze and crystal is one of the most outstanding features of the opera house. Wow. All right. Would you like me to read for you? Sure. Yeah. If you don't mind, it would be great. Thank it's you. It's been a ton of reading. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Concierge. Did I miss one? Yeah. Okay. Is situated on the Ile de la Cite and was built in the 14th century by King Philippe the Fair and is one of the oldest buildings of Paris and a representative building of the early medieval ages. It was a seat of French royal power and in the king's absence, the concierge was appointed a keeper to hold command of the royal residence, hence the term conciergerie. It has been variously used as the home of French kings, French parliament, as a revolutionary tribunal a prison for traitors, the revered Saint Chapelle, and more. Uh, recently, part of it is Paris Law Courts. The building includes four towers. The Silver Tower was used as a storeroom where the royal treasure was kept. The Caesar Tower was named in honor of the Roman Emperor, and the Clock Tower has a remarkable clock whose purpose it was to help regulate Paris dwellers of the time regulate their activities during the day and night. Other areas of note are Hall of Men at Arms and the Kitchen, which once daily fed more than 2,000 people. During the French Revolution, it served as a jail and famous prisoners guillotined here include Queen Marie Antoinette, Madame du Barry, Madame Elizabeth, Charlotte Corday, and Robespierre, 
who started the reign of terror to name just a few. <laughs> All right, Saint-Chapelle, the interior of Saint-Chapelle also called Holy Chapel, was built by St. King Louis to house the collection of his passion relics of Christ. King Louis purchased them from Baldwin II, the emperor of Constantinople, though the money was paid to Venetians to whom the relics were pawned by Baldwin. The chapel was completed in 1248 AD and its architecture is Gothic and is part of the conciergerie complex. Its most remarkable features are its 15 large stained glass windows, as well as the lovely rose window added a century after the chapel's construction. It has two chapels, the lower chapel, originally meant for the officers of the king, and the upper chapel was dedicated to the king and his family. The upper chapel is made of 618 square meters of glass windows, a unique combination of lightness and balance and illustrates biblical scenes from both testaments depicting 1130 biblical figures. Les Invalides is located near the left bank of the Seine in the seventh arrondissement of Paris brimming with a wealth of fascinating history. This 13 hectare complex houses superb military museums together with a hospital, a church, various burial sites, tombs and vaults, all related to France's long military history. The monument was commissioned by Louis XIV in 1671 AD and inaugurated in 1678 AD as a hospital and retirement home for France's war veterans. Highlights of a visit to Les Invalides are Les Invalides complex is a masterpiece of classical French architecture. Its architects were Liberal Brandt and Jules Hardouin Mansart. Museum of Military Models exhibits Maps and models are pre-17th century cities and fortresses. About 100 models are conserved today in this museum. It was declared a historical monument in 1927 AD, and a museum was established in 1943 AD. The Museum of the Order of Liberation was created in 1940 AD by General Charles de Gaulle, leader of the Free French Forces, and moved to his to Les Invalides in 1967. The museum showcases more than 4,000 objects, including uniforms, clandestine press, leaflets, transmitters, flags taken to the enemy on the battlefields of Europe and Africa, the first naval flags of Free France. It also documents the history of Free French forces, de Gaulle's manuscripts, resistance, and the concentration camps. The Army Museum. The largest military museum in France was created in 1905 by merging Museum of Artillery, which was founded in 1796, and the Old Army Museum, which was founded in 1896. It houses 500,000 objects. The permanent collections are presented chronologically from antiquity to the end of World War II, besides displaying thematic collections of emblems, paintings, and military decorations. The National Institute for Disabled War Veterans houses a retirement home, a medical and surgical center, a center for external medical examinations. The Dome Church of Les Invalides and Napoleon's Tomb, originally built as a royal chapel for the exclusive use of the French monarch, in 1840, the French national hero, Napoleon Bonaparte's mortal remains, were brought back from St. Helena and were interred in a crypt here beside some members of Napoleon's family, and famous French generals are also buried here. The first level of the facade is ornate, with Doric columns and two arches containing the statues of St. Louis and Charlemagne. The second level consists of Corinthian columns and the first two levels are crowned with a triangular pediment 
featuring the coat of arms of the King of France. The monumental gilded dome is inspired by St. Peter's Basilica in Rome and is decorated with 550,000 thin leaves of gold. About 12 kilograms of gold was used and its summit is marked by a three-side obelisk topped with a cross. All right. The Louvre Museum is, yeah, oh, we're, gonna, we're back we're gonna, to the beginning. Yeah, we're gonna okay. stop here. So again, congratulations, everybody. Thank you. Um, it looks like um, next week we're doing Amsterdam and it's mm -hmm. only a one, uh, one, it's not an expert one. Um, says 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm thinking we can finish this one up after Amsterdam, if you guys are okay with that for next week. That yeah. sounds good to me. Anyone good else? Since, since we were already doing Saturday, hopefully it works your guys' schedule and um, and that way we'll we'll complete it, okay? So well, yeah, sounds good. Amsterdam well, is about 30, huh? I'm sorry, will it save progress for that first, quiz, that first quiz? Yes. Yeah, it should save where you're at, and then um, and then when you come back next week, you just pop into where you were. So, yep. Um, so, yeah, some of these, again, we never know. Sometimes, you know, they're 20 minutes, Some like the first one or whatever, and then sometimes they're like four hours, you know. So, um, again, appreciate you guys. Thank you for volunteering. Um, and, and, again, thank you for sharing your screen. I appreciate it. So as you see here, so Amsterdam is, um, says only about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, it is on the same program, so I'll make sure, and I don't think I've taken this one before. Um, if so, I'll make sure I get my daughter's sign on or something. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so we'll see you guys next Saturday, same time, same place. Um, we're doing, um, I think, RIU on Wednesday. Um, so you guys can join me for that. And then we're completing our Royal Caribbean on Friday. Um, so we'll have, yeah, so we'll have the new schedule out for October. Again, I'll be traveling. Um, I will be going to Europe, um, October 8th through the 18th. So I probably won't have any trainings then unless I have some volunteers, but otherwise, um, I'm going to, and, and we're going to start instead of Royal next, I think we're doing um, celebrity, I think is the next cruise line that we're doing. So again, thank you guys. Stay plugged in. Hope you guys have an amazing, amazing weekend. Um, again, thank you guys for helping out. Thank you on the quizzes. It's uh, again, you know, some of these are a little difficult, so I appreciate everybody. Um, a team, team effort, right? So, yep. um, so get your people on for next week for Amsterdam um, and, you know, get them on. RIU is the first one for next uh, Wednesday. So uh, I know a lot of people like um, or wanted to learn about RIU and we weren't able to get into it before. So now I think we can. You're well, okay. Huh? Um, so with, with a, um, ALG, um, an RIU or whatever, if you have to be a part of VAX. So if you're new with us guys, make sure that you've got your sign on for VAX to join us on Wednesday. Okay. Otherwise, uh, as we say, you're in business for yourself and not by yourself. Let's have some fun. Have a great weekend and appreciate you all. And, um, if we don't see you at the beaches of the world, we'll see you at the bank. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you.